All right. CC Winans is with us. CC, how are you? I'm good. I'm good, my brother. How are you? I'm good. I'm really, really good. First of all, let me congratulate you on the new album. Just number one on Billboard and digital and gospel album, et cetera. So praise God for that. Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> they no, told I, me that I, yesterday and I was like, what? What does that even mean? They were like, you got four number ones. I'm like, praise God. <laughs> yeah, no, you, you've been doing this for a while. Now, for me and many folks in, in my age group, we go all the uh -huh. way back to PTL and, and all of that. Yeah, you've been, you've been hanging then. with me a long time. <laughs> it's been a long time. And you know what? Longevity has uh, really been a part of who you are. Tell us what's the secret? What's what's the staying power of CC Winans? Um, the Holy Spirit, you mm. know, having a relationship with Jesus Christ. Um, always working on being a hearer and a doer of the word, yeah. you know, um, because God is ancient, but he never gets old. You know, it's it's he's always on time. He's relevant. He knows exactly the heartbeat of, of what we need, you know, as a people. And so I always consult him before I go in the studio, before I do anything. It's like, mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, I need you to saturate it. I need you to do what you do. And he does, you mm -hmm. know, when we invite him in, he comes in yeah, and, and he does those things that only he can do. And so I owe everything to, to him and, and the relationship that I have with him. I love that. Well, speaking of God doing only what he can do and doing the impossible. We live in such racially divided times. And one of the things I've always loved about your ministry is that you are who you are, no matter if you're in front of a white audience, a black audience, Latino audience, mm -hmm. um, how have you been able to break down these walls and still be so powerful in the Lord? Well, you know, again, again, I think God, I know God has created all of us to be uniquely different. Mm. Um, and I like to look at it as a, a puzzle. Um, you know, you can work all night on a puzzle. Yeah. And you can get 99% of it done. But if it's one piece, got mm. this certain shape and a certain look and a certain, the, it's like, it's incomplete. That's it's right. incomplete. And so I, you know, we were talking about it earlier, how I started out on PTL which was my first experience being in front of a white audience. Yeah, yeah. I was 17 years old and I learned a long time ago, time ago that God just wants me to be who I am. Hmm. I'm a part of the, I'm a part of the puzzle, hmm. you know? And so I don't have to try to be like somebody else because we really do need one another. We need our differences. We yeah. need in order to make up the body of Christ in order for us to be as powerful as he planned for us to be. Yeah. Um, and so the sooner we realize that, the the better off the church is going to be, because we're not going to be as powerful as we should be without one another, without yeah. the differences of how yeah. we praise and how we worship and how we interpret and how we it's 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 not to be fought. He, he never created us to be all alike. Right. right. <laughs> you oh, know, yeah. 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 But he expresses himself differently through all of us. And I know I'm blessed because I've been a part of all of those worlds. Mm -hmm. I am so blessed. My children are blessed because, mm -hmm. you know, all of their friends don't look like them. No. You know, no. they, they, they look like everybody. And, and th that's the beauty and diversity yeah. um, is that we learn how to, and it, it doesn't mean it's going to be easy, but, but God, he purifies us as we learn to love one another and get along with each other and actually feel what, what each other feel, you mm -hmm. know? Mm, mm. That's what's necessary. It really is. Hey, let's talk yeah. about the, the new project. I, I want to call it the new album, but some of our young people <laughs> know what that is. <laughs> Lord well, Jesus. they need to know. It's an album. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know nothing about no albums and 45s. And... The new project. Right, right. right. <laughs> project. All right. So on the new project, you got some of my favorite songs like Alabaster Box and Oh my goodness! One of my favorite songs about the Lord Jesus. Uh, You're beautiful. Um, yeah, I Jesus love that song. I've always loved that song. Uh, it goes on and on. You even put a Fred Hammond song on there just to be close to you, which is one of my favorites as well. Uh, awesome. Some of the newer ones. Let, let's like uh, never lost. Uh, tell tell me uh, how did you come across that and why did you put that on the project? 
Well, you know, actually, I owe, owe that to my son. Um, yeah. You know, you, you keep the young people around you. And he was like, yeah. Mom, you're going to love this song. You need to hear the song. Yeah. And, and this is my first live project. And it's really covering more songs that have already been out there songs that I hear in my worship service every Sunday that the worship team is singing that I'm being blessed by Praise you know God. that I heard goodness of God they were singing that song and in the in the the lyric is all my life you've been faithful yeah. and so when I heard it my hands went up and I was like oh where did that song come from and they told me it was it was Bethel and Jen Johnson and I was just like oh gotta do the song yeah, so yeah. I wanted to create a worship experience yeah. You know, um, a lot of people haven't been in church for almost uh, over a year now. Yeah, that's right. And, and hopefully they're coming back, you know, but I wanted to create something that would that would give them the joy and the peace and the and the recharge them with the passion of God. Mm. Um, and so. So, yeah. So my son sent me Never Lost and I heard it and I was like, oh, don't we need to be reminded as believers that we serve a God who's not nervous? The pandemic did, did throw them off. Right. You right. know. He, he's got a perfect record. He's never lost and he never will. And if God be for us, who can be against us, yeah. you know? So it's such a powerful message. Elevation Worship um, recorded it. They do some incredible, incredible yeah. worship stuff. Yeah, and um, and so I just knew it was a song, again, that I felt like everybody need to, needed to hear. Yeah. And yeah. unfortunately, we've been divided in our industry that so many times it's an incredible song that one one group of people here that the other group never get a chance to hear. It's crazy. And I was like, this is ridiculous, yeah. you know? Um, and so I got a chance to bring in the Fred Hammond just to be close. I mean, what an intimate song of worship. Mm. It's so simple and it's so powerful and it's still powerful today as it was when Fred first released it. Absolutely. You know, so this whole project, um, Believe for It project is, you know, my prayer was, I got tickled because when this is my first live record, and I was like, Lord, I can't even have people. <laughs> <laughs> I know I always tell people, right, for years, I sing for an audience of one, right. but I wasn't being literally. I was like, no, Lord, I want people. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> and I'm telling you, it is powerful. Hey, one of the so, other questions is you feel like you're entering in when you're hearing the project. And so I feel like I'm in a, a great congregation of believers. You happen to be on stage just leading us into the presence of God. So Praise God. It's, it's amazing. All right. So the title song is Believe For Us. Tell us about that. Uh, you know, again, God's timing. This this was the last song we decided to do because we had all the songs, but the but the producer, Kyle, Kyle Lee, first time working with him, awesome young man. And he said, I feel like we need one more song. Mm. And so they started writing him, uh, Dwan Hill, and another young man named Mitch. And they they brought me this song, A Belief For It. And I said, oh, this is it. Because yeah. this is the only way we're going to make it to the other side. We that. have to have faith. We have to release our faith for the impossible. Mm. Um, mm. And, and it was just a powerful song. And I'm on there as a co-writer just because while we started singing the song, I started singing, he said it, mm. I believe it, it's mm. done. He said it, I believe it, it's yeah. done. That's the part that I wrote. It's just, it was just started, I couldn't stop. And, and that's what we got to get in our hearts and our minds. Mm -hmm. We have to get to the point of, it's not about how we feel. It's not about what things look like. It's not about what our past experience was. It's, he said it, Yeah. I believe it, yeah. it's done. It's done. That's it. <laughs> and 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 it's it's, it's got to be just that we got to move by faith. We mm. we become so emotional over the years. We're being driven by our emotions. We're being mm. driven by what we see. And mm. God is like, do you believe me or not? Yeah. You know. Yeah. And 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 so this is what I know that the body of Christ we've got to grab and believe because God said, if you believe when you pray, if you believe what you've asked for, it's yours. Come on now. Come on now. It's yours. That's right. So I want people to believe, to release their faith and to dream again so that God can do the impossible in our lives. I love it. All right. So my friend, Ebony Funderburg, who I, I love and appreciate, <laughs> pretty amazing. Yes. You told me I only got 10 minutes. So I, I got I got to wrap up with this question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ebony's ruling question. all of us. She, she rules us all. She's just like this. She's just like this. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's my sister. All right, so one of the things that has helped me over the last year is what David said to Saul. Uh, Mm. Saul said, I don't think you can go out and fight this giant. And David said, I killed a lion and a bear. Come on, somebody. I can can take this giant. What do you do when you face your giant, C.C. Winans? Uh, What do you reach back and say, wait a minute, I got a testament. What, What is the thing that keeps you going in the midst of giants? That's so good that you said that. I heard somebody say, recently that the only time we doubt God is when we forget what he's already done. Come on, somebody. (laughs) And there's, there's so many things that I can pull back on and Mm -hmm. and pull from, should I say, what God has already done. He's done Mm -hmm. so many things for me. I remember when my, we lost our brother, brother Ronald. Yes. Um, and yeah. God brought him back. He lived another eight years. But the yeah. doctors told us, you know what, guys, I'm going to call all of you guys in so you can say bye. Mm. And we were like, mm, let's pray. Yes. And God and all the saints began to pray. Mm. And and Ronald came back and he lived another eight years, you know, and uh, could have lived longer than that, you mm. know. Um, so so there's so many things that my, my son is, is now my lead pastor. And I remember a time when he was probably, you know, 15, 16, and I began to be, speak the word of God over his life when it looked totally opposite, when he had his own mind going, doing his own thing. I said, oh, no, 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 no. Every gift and talent that you have will be used to glorify God, God. will be used to glorify yeah, God. Yeah, and yeah. I continue to speak that. I tell mothers, don't say, don't say what you see. Say hmm. what God says over your children. Yeah. Say what God says over your marriage. And now he's pastoring our church and he's preaching anointed messages every week. Wow. I could just be, I, y'all don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be good on these records. I could be rolling in the floor, speaking in tongues 24 on, hours a day. Yes. Um, I'm trying to be polite, but God is good. He's God good. And there's so many, just this morning, he woke me up. He didn't have to do that. You know, he woke me up in my right mind. Yeah. He didn't have to do that. I think some, so many times we look for something big and we don't realize that everything he does is big, you know? And I so it. I am so grateful. And if we could just be aware of what God has already done, then we can keep peace in the midst of a storm. I believe that. All right. We're so thankful for you. <laughs> and uh, thank, thank you for this project. It's a blessing. Uh, if people want to pick it up, uh, how can they get it? It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Amazon, um, Apple. Uh, what else is out there? There's so many things nowadays. Uh, wherever you can That's find it. music, That's right. you, can, you can find Believe for it. And also you can follow us on Instagram and, and Facebook. I'm learning all this stuff, right? Twitter, uh, my website, CC Winans, and uh, pray for me. Just keep praying for me. And, and I thank you so much for this opportunity. We're always grateful to see you. CC, thank you so much. You got it. Be blessed. God Bye-bye. Bless. Bye-bye.